Right now, we are sitting in second place in League One. Marseille, three points ahead of us. Monaco, only one point behind us. We should have seen this coming back in episode one. Could be a problem. This could be a problem. Our defence. Wow, okay. Fair play. Absolutely fair play. That's a good ball. That's a good ball. Skriniar. No. Come on. Donnarumma. I'm not being funny, but he should be saving that, in my opinion. And from the look of the top scorers, you can tell the problem in this team, whilst we haven't been here, is scoring goals. I mean, Messi right now, one goal in seven games. I left you guys at the end of episode one after the Juventus game. A 1-0 win. We've had a few wins since then, but a few draws and defeats along the way. And that's why we're in the situation we're in. But in today's episode, we are going to be passing through the January transfer window. And with that much money in the bank, we can definitely make some improvements. Right now, top of group, 12 points. However, Man City... Two points, bottom of their group. We all know then this team is capable of so much more. In today's episode, we're going to change formation, change everything around it, and get us back to winning ways in League One. So if you guys are looking forward to it, don't forget, drop me a like down below, hit the subscribe button, and let's get into it. And now into the press conference for today's video, and it says, please use 3 4 2 1 when Messi and Neymar behind Mbappe. Akimi and Mendes can be wing backs, they are fast and creative as well. Okay, then I've got to say this system looks so much better and suits the players a lot better as well. Akimi and Mendes might move them down, but apart from that, it's looking good. And now for the second one, and this one says Serge Malinkovic Savage is a realistic signing, plus he is underrated. Okay, now the fun fact is when I did a PSG career mode on FIFA 21, I actually signed Malinkovic Savage, and I agree, very underrated player. We could pick him up in today's episode. And now into the final comment, and this one says check Mbappe's wages, and if they're not the amount he's gotten in real life, do it in game. Just before we do this right now, I'm making a backup. I am making a backup because you guys are, are going to get me sacked. Now let's give Mbappe this new contract. He's on 100 million a year, which works out at 2 million per week. He got signing on bonus of 300 mil. Yep, yeah, we can't afford 300 mil signing on, but 2 million a week. Could we get sacked for this in game? There is a good chance. Mbappe, reasonable offer. A reasonable offer. Is, is this guy for real? And so I hope then after that contract we just give Mbappe, we have some money left in the window because 20 million that's all we have to work with. And now here's the shortlist. Now, after Mbappe's contract, can we really afford to sign anyone else? There's a few players on here who we can sign, and we're definitely going to bring someone in to help us. But let's get into this game against Marseille. We're going to reclaim our place at the top of the table, and to do that, we have to beat Marseille. They're in good form. Let's get it done. Oh, Messi plays it. Mbappe just looking for the return ball. Finds it. Pass inside again. Laid off for Neymar. Actually, okay, never mind. We're still going. What a run. What a run. But no finish. No, that's a good ball. That's a really good ball. We're struggling to get back. Skriniar. Skriniar. Got a rumor. What a save. What a save. I'll tell you what. Marseille are not messing around. Marseille are not messing around. And they make it 1-0. What is it with this defense? We'll play a back four, a back three. I mean, we've got the wing backs going back as well. So a back five at times. We just cannot stop conceding goals. It's a massive problem. Okay, please leave us alone. Please leave us alone. Please leave us alone. No, okay. 2-0 down. You can see now why Marseille are above us in the table. You can see because they're clearly the better team. That ball over the top nope. is absolutely overused. Overused by the... I can't believe it. I just cannot believe. Three goals down. Three goals down. Where's Mbappe? Two million a week. He needs to be tracking back now and just winning every ball because I can't have him just stood up front while the defence can't cope with them. All right, here we go. Messi normally always makes something happen. Great ball through. Across. Neymar. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to quit. I'm just going to quit this game because what's the point if we're not finishing them? Right, that's better. Akimi actually getting a foot in for once. Okay, play that pass inside. Perfect. Mbappe turns, shoots. It's the best chance Best chance we've had, really. All right, here we go. Neymar. Neymar. I mean, Neymar is pretty much useless in this game. Every time he gets the ball and someone gets near him. Right, Sanchez. Just play that. Okay, right. Inside. Right. Messi's open. Messi... There we go. We're kind of back in this game. Kind of. But Neymar, I've got to be honest, guys. He gets the ball. Someone touches him. He's over. He's on the floor. I can imagine some of you guys right now are saying, well, at least it's realistic. And it probably is. Messi, finally, someone comes up with the goods. Okay, my defense is my defense is gone. My defense is gone. And Marseille make it 4-1. I When I thought we had a slim chance of getting a draw, that's when you know things are bad when you're expecting to get a draw out of a game. That's gone. That's gone as well. I think there's a reason this PSG team comes as a default back five. Because it needs it. It needs the back five. Let's go. Mbappe. I mean, this guy. Please don't score again. Please don't score again. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. 5-1. Five, 5-1. One. Five, one. I, I can't get my head over the scoreline. It makes me laugh now thinking, you know, when we scored that goal at 3-1 we, we'd maybe get a draw out of this game making me laugh because right now we just cannot defend. And there we go in full time 5-1 defeat. I don't really have anything else left to say. All I'm going to say is right now that team needs something because it cannot be losing 5-1 to Marseille it, it just can't. I've gone ahead and gone back to what is tried and tested in this PSG team a 4-3-3. We're going to try it right now three midfielders, 
should help these defenders. And as we make our way closer to the January transfer window right now, who will be 2022's player of the year? Mbappe and Messi are both up for it. Okay, here we go. Player of the year announced Mbappe, of course. It's always Mbappe. Let, let's just be honest. We have had then some bad news. Neymar injured up to three months. Also, when Alden, I recalled him to sell him because we need to raise some funds. And finally, the transfer window is now open. I'm just going to sell Sanchez at the moment just because Sanchez is a good player, but I need to raise some funds. And 44 million, I could use that. And there we go. Then Sanchez sold 40 million out to the budget. But now I'm going to try and sell him also. And there we go then, 12.5 million for one Bernat. Let's have a see budget, 94 million now. Let's see who we're going to sign. Now I've got to head in and record some players from their loans, add them straight to the transfer list and try and raise some funds. But before we go any further, we've got Nice in the French Cup, our first game, knockout game, and 3-1. There we go, we, we are through. And now we're on deadline day. We're going to sell some players before we even make our move yet. No offers coming in, they need to hurry up. Okay, there we go, first offer, Paredes. Let's just go ahead and accept. First one done, next offer coming in right now, Leicester City, Draxler again. Let's accept, got to hurry up. These players... Players need to hurry up being sold right now. Four hours to go. Come on, we need to sign a player of our own. Okay, another player out the door. Need probably one more. Okay, this is getting close. Like, really, really close right now. I've accepted three more offers still. Okay, we've got another one complete right now. There we go. Maybe we can sign someone now. And that's more like it. 139 million now to spend. I'm doing it. I'm doing it right now. We are making a massive signing from Liverpool. Mohamed Salah. Yeah, let's get him in. Let's get him straight in. With Neymar out injured, we need another winger coming in. And this guy... He's proven. He's proven. Let's be honest. And Messi can go over to left for now. Salah on the right. Neymar comes back. We'll, we'll sort something out. 100 mil. We're on deadline day right now. I can't really be pushy. So I'm just going to go ahead and just accept. And now for the contract then. Crucial three years. 175k a week. 1.5 signing on. Salah. Oh, wow. He's still not happy with that. Okay. Second time around. 205k a week. A 1.6 signing on bonus. There we go. Salah. Not quite what he wanted, but he's going to join PSG. And here he is then, guys. Mohamed Salah, a massive signing for us here at PSG. Again, we needed to add quality. Neymar being injured. And we're struggling to score goals. That is the bottom line. Let's have a see then what they give us. A B. A B for that price rating. To be honest, we couldn't really negotiate because we had an hour left. And here we go then. Here's how the team is looking. Messi out on the left just for now until Neymar comes back. And again, we'll just rotate the whole front three. Salah on the right. He should score goals. And there we have it then. We got a transfer done just in time. The last hour going through right now. I'm so happy with the business. Are we all going to give Salah a new kit number as well? Because number 19 just doesn't really suit him. I think 11. Yeah, 11's available. That looks better. And what a better time to try out Mo Salah in our next game. Spurs Champions League round of 16. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so we was struggling in... Right, okay. Okay, why is it? Why is it? They have to go sliding in straight away. Why? Free kick straight away here. You know what? I'm going to play this short. I'm just going to get this short. Played in two. Verratti, who can play the pass... Oh, tried to pass through. Might be a problem. Human Son plays the pass inside to Kane. And Skriniar just gets something in way of that. Never mind. It was offside. Right, shows Marquinhos. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Hakimi gets the job done. Let's go. Salah. Mbappe makes the run. Mbappe. Go on, you're off. You're off, Mbappe. How? No. Romero. Oh, it's one back. It's one back through. Messi. Oh, I just can't do anything. I'll tell you what, guys. This PSG stuff isn't easy. Kane. Done a rumour. Oh my, Marquinhos. I thought that was an own goal. Verratti plays a great ball over top. Salah now running on through. Mohamed Salah looking to drag that one back. Maybe look for a pass option on the edge of the box. Never mind Mbappe. Soler, Messi. Tries it and he goes in. There we go. Just before half time as well. We got our first game. Our first game. Our first goal in the Champions League knockout stage. We needed that. We really needed that. Soler looking for the ball over top. Mbappe. Can we make it to Mbappe? It's not as easy as that. That's a great ball for Kane. He's got support as well. Kane. Okay. Tries it from distance. There we go. Mo Salah plays it inside. Mbappe looking for that ball. We find the ball as well. Just the finish from Soler just isn't on. Oh, Perisic. Why is Kane so open? Why are we leaving Kane open in the centre? Skriniar blocks that one. Back to Perisic. Mendes blocks that one. Can't get it clear. Can't get this ball clear. If Spurs get level now, I'll be so frustrated. That's straight in for Son. Oh, rumor. What a save. Okay, Hugo Lloris is up for this one. If we can get this headed away. No, don't go in. Oh, thank God. Hugo Lloris up for this corner as well now. Oh, go on. Go on. I wanted to win the ball back so we can go to the other end and try and score something. Larissa, of course, now back in goal. Marquinhos. Here we go. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Really? 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 Just never have an easy time here at PSG. You just don't. Just get the full-time whistle. There we go. 
One nil win. And now for the second leg against Spurs, we're going to sim it. We should be going through realistically, and we do, but it's very, very close. I just want to find out right now, is Neymar back? Right, okay, Neymar is back. That's good news. Been getting back onto the bench and getting back into some games. And talking of games, right now we've got our quarterfinals. You can see we're through and we're taking on Chelsea. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of worried going into this game because today's episode, we haven't really been playing at our best. I don't know what it is with this PSG team. You'd think you'd win every game 5-10-0, but we're not doing Let's see how we fare up against Chelsea. No, we need runners. We need runners. Bamiang. No. Go on, Donald Ruben. That's yours. Okay, that was easy enough. Here we go, Verratti. Mo Salah. Looking for that ball over top to Mbappe. Go on, Mbappe. Just keep running. That's yours. That's yours all day long. Mbappe to finish. Nope. Oh, our only chance so far. That was a decent ball through. Cut out by Marquinhos, but straight to Sterling. Oh, Scrinia does well. Let's get this away right now. Messi, right. Mbappe, get running. Mbappe. Messi finds him with a pass, but Thiago Silva not letting him pass. Can't tell you what a turn. What a turn. Verratti finds the ball. Mo Salah just trying to find a wall through. Verratti taken down, but it's back to him. Verratti almost the first goal. And now the change I'm going to make then is Verratti is going to make way. Neymar is going to come on, but I'm going to push Neymar up just higher and get him involved because goalless at the moment. No way. No way. Thiago. No. Guys. Please, please help me. Help me in this career mode because I don't know what's going wrong. I have no idea how a team in real life is blowing other teams away, PSG. But come to FIFA, I don't know. It can't be just me because I cut these players. Togger Silva, overhead kick, Bamiang. What is going on? Oh, please, please. Just, oh, there we go. We're away, we're away. Let's go, let's go. Messi, just go, just go. And this is where I need Mbappe running and he's not running. Right, some touch and go football. Some touch and go football. Koulibaly's head that away. Head that. Kante. Okay, that will do. Just finish it. Go on. Oh, at the back post. Oh, it's someone. Messi doing absolutely amazing work. Mbappe, edge of the box now. Kante, he's going to strike that one. Okay, at least we get a corner. Whipped in by Messi. Okay, the header's not there. The header's not there. But that is, that is Salah to Messi. You know what? You know what? You know what? Just finish that. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. Screen here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need some someone. Oh, wow, really? Chelsea are just so, so frustrating. Really frustrating team to play against. Cucurella's on. Fabian, we can't even get a ball out wide now. This is getting bad for us. Mobile. Right, let's go. Let's go. Fabian. Again, we cannot. We can't play two passes. Okay, there we go. Then full time in this one. Chelsea will play with a 1-0 win. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's not easy. And now we are going to go ahead and, and sim this second leg. We're riding on luck. And we do get luck. And we are through on penalties. Guys, we're getting lucky right now, but come the final, if we make it, we won't get lucky. And what I mean by that is when the final comes, we won't have a second leg to just go ahead and sim and get through. So come the final next episode, we're going to have to definitely up our game. And that's why I need your guys' help down below. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget, drop me a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next one.